Let's go through the setup of the DG700 manometer attached to the blower door. The first thing we'll look at is our hose setup. We've got the green hose attached to the reference port on the A channel. That's going to run down through your panel and you'll extend it outside with the end of it well away from the uh, exhausting part of the fan so it's not blowing up the end of the hose. On the B side, we want the red hose connected to the input channel. And that'll run down and get connected to the input port on the fan right there. And that is your hose setup. From there, we'll start turning on the manometer. So we're going to hit the on off button and then we're going to push light. It always helps in these dark homes. And then we're going to hit mode twice. When you first turn it on, it's just pressure and pressure. If you push mode twice, you'll get pressure on the A channel and flow at 50 on the B, which is what you need. Uh, and then we're going to move on to getting a baseline. So we'll hit the baseline button. Then we'll push start. And where that needs to run for about 30 seconds. When that's done, we'll hit enter. And now the baseline is established for the manometer. And then we need to make sure our fan, our manometer are configured the same way. So this is for the fan. The manometer thinks the fan is open. So we need to take all the rings off of it to make sure it is open. And then from there, we can go ahead and ramp it up and get our first test. We wanna ramp the fan up to negative 50 on the A side to get a reading on the B side of CFM at 50. If it starts flashing low, it means your fan is too big for the house. So we're gonna have to reconfigure the manometer and the fan to make it smaller. So what we'll do is we'll add a ring to the fan and we'll reconfigure the manometer. So we're gonna add the A ring to it. So we need to reconfigure the manometer. We'll do that by pushing the configure button once until instead of saying open, it says A1. And then we'll add the A1 ring to the fan as well so that they are matching with each other. From there, we can go ahead and ramp the blower board door back up to negative 50, and we should be able to get a new CFM at 50 number now. It doesn't have to be exactly at 50. It can be negative 45, negative 51. It's, that'll be close enough for uh, what we do. It's running calculations in the background to make sure it's correct. And that is how you set up your DG700 for a blower door test.